Yo, what's up with y'all? It's JD and I'm back with another quick video. In today's video, I'm gonna be running you guys through a training strategy that you guys can implement if you guys are looking to gain strength as well as muscle endurance. This is a reps and sets based workout with weighted calisthenics. Now, before we get into the video, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, hit that like button and hit the notification bell as well. So I'm also gonna show you guys some of my unweighted exercises I did today but I wanna focus on this unique way of training to build strength and volume at the same time. So if you guys haven't seen my video about the only two weighted calisthenics exercises that you need, I'll be showing you guys these exercises today. And those are dips and pull-ups. So today I started with the pull-ups. Originally I wanted to get a little bit more volume in today. So I was gonna do some unweighted pull-ups but I also wanted to take advantage of having gym access, which I'm gonna have probably for the next week or two. So I went ahead and added a 45 pound plate to my pull-ups. So I did five reps with the 45 pound weight attached to my waist. Then I dropped the weight off and I hit an additional 10 reps right afterwards. So I repeated this five times and then I had about four to five minute rest periods. By the fifth set, I had to break up the unweighted pull-up reps. I was super gassed out. So the next exercise I did was dips. So with the dips, I did pretty much the same thing, except I did five reps with 90 pounds attached to my waist. And then I took the weight off and then I did 15 unweighted dips. So I did four sets of these and then in my last set, I just use a 45 pound plate and I did 15 reps with that 45 pound plate attached to my waist. So guys, just for reference, 45 pounds is about one third of my max weighted pull up and 90 pounds is about half of my max weighted dip. So you guys can reference this if you guys wanna use these numbers to gauge how much weight you might wanna add when you're programming this workout for yourself. The next exercise I did was for legs. I did deep split squats with 25 pound dumbbells. I did five reps on each leg and I repeated this for five sets. After the split squats, I did ring push-ups with a turn in at the end. And the turn in at the end gives you that extra squeeze, that extra chest activation. And I don't really find myself doing push-ups too much nowadays, but when I do, I prefer to do them on the rings. The stabilization muscles get worked on the rings and you can see and feel the activation with every single rep. And if you guys notice, I'm going extremely deep on these, which is increasing my mobility and my range of motion. So for the ring push-ups, I did 50 reps and I broke that up into four sets. The last exercise for the day was inverted rows, which is a dynamic exercise that helps out with your front lever training. Now with these, I did a quick four sets of seven reps. So the one exercise I didn't show you guys that I did to start off my workout, which was handstand push-ups. I spent about 45 minutes doing handstand push-ups when I first got to the gym. When I first get to the gym, I always work on whatever skill I'm working for that day. And today just happened to be handstand push-ups because I kind of wanted to take the day off from doing planche training and front lever training. 
And if you guys have been watching my channel, I'm sure you guys have seen me doing handstands in almost every single video. So I figure I'd highlight some of the other exercises that I don't showcase as much. So guys, if you guys are interested in one-on-one -on -one coaching with me, hit up my website, that's travelcynics.com. You can purchase one-on-one -on -one coaching with me there, or you guys can scoop up one of my other programs. Uh, anyways, I'd like to hear from you guys in the comment section. So leave a comment down below on any video topics that you might want me to touch on, any questions that you might have for me. And uh, also remember to like the video if you guys enjoyed it. And if you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell. I hope everybody's having a great day out there. I'll highlight you guys later. Peace.